in this section we are going to see properties of proportion okay let us look at the first property of proportion that is cross product rule so this is an important property of one of the important properties of uh, proportion because uh, we can use this property cross product rule and solve many problems in proportion okay let me take a proportion uh, that is uh, equality of two ratios a is to b is equal to c is to d okay so here the two ratios are equal so this is proportion okay in this proportion the first term is a the last term is d the common name of the first term and the last term is extremes and we have two terms in the middle that is uh, b and c the common name of the two middle terms is means So, here A and D are called as extremes, uh, B and C are called as means. Okay, now, let us see how this uh, property, the first property of proportion cross product rule works in, an, in, this in this proportion A is to B is equal to C is to D. So, cross product rule says uh, product of extremes is equal to product of means that is if I multiply the extremes A and D that will be equal to uh, the multiplication of the means B and C. So, in any proportion we can use this cross product rule. So, A times D the product of extremes equal to product of means. Okay, Let us uh, consider a small problem uh, to understand how this property cross product rule works. Um, the ages of two persons are in the ratio 3 is to 4 and uh, age of the first person is 45 years and we have to find the age of the second person. Okay, the, uh, the ratio between the ages of two persons is given is that is 3 is to 4, age of the first person is given that is 45 years and we have to find the age of the second person that is uh, uh, I assume the age of the second person is x years. Okay, so, using the ages 45 years and x years, now we can uh, do ratio that is 45 is to x. So, this is a ratio between the ages of 2 persons, but already the ratio between the ages of 2 persons is given that is 3 is to 4. So, both the ratios 45 is to x and 3 is to 4 mean the same thing that is uh, the ratio between the ages of 2 persons, because both the ratios uh, mean the same thing we can equate them. So, here two ratios are equal. So, it has become a proportion. Okay, now, we can apply cross product rule that is uh, the first property of proportion to find the value of x that is the product of extremes 45 and 4. One second is equal to the product of means that is x and 3 3 x. Okay, now, my aim is to get the value of x. So, here 3 and x are multiplied. I just need x. So, I am going to get this 3 to the left side of the equation. If 3 comes to the left side of the left side of the equation, it will become division. So, we get 45 times 4 divided by 3 equal to x. Now, we can simplify here. Uh, 1 times 3 is 3. 3 goes into 45 15 times. Okay, now, we can multiply this 15 and 4. We get 60. So, x is equal to 60. So, the age of the second person is 60 years. So, using cross product rule, we can solve this kind of problems. That is, uh, among the four quantities in proportion, if we know the value of three quantities, uh, we can solve for the fourth quantity using this property cross product rule.